everyone, and welcome back to The Introverted Aromatherapist. Today, I would like to talk to you about gender and scent. Now, this is a very complicated question with an extremely simple answer, which I will be giving to you at the end of this video. So, when you walk into the department store, you always see two very separate sections of fragrances, one for women and one for men. The women's fragrances are always based around flowers and fruit and powdery things like vanilla and tonka. Especially lately, there's been a definite fashion in very sweet powdery things for women in the past few years. The men's section is always all about earthy, macho things like patchouli and leather and rum and tobacco and all the sorts of grassy, herby things that men are supposed to like. There are some men's fragrances that are very simple. There's some that are based around citruses. There's a very famous men's cologne, which is nothing but lemon, orange, and lime. So there's a few different categories for each gender, but they're very strictly defined according to what each gender is supposed to like. Now, does this mean that as a man you cannot wear flowery things? No. Does this mean as a woman you can't wear leathery herbaceous things? No. So who gets to wear what? Well, let's think about this. I used to have a boyfriend who loved jasmine. So he wore nothing but jasmine oil all the time. And women would follow him down the street to smell his beautiful jasmine oil. And nobody thought it was feminine, and nobody thought he was effeminate, and nobody thought he was gay. They just liked how he smelled, and there was no judgment upon it. There are plenty of women I know who wear earthy scents, and they're not considered masculine. And besides, what if you're transgender? Does that mean you get to wear everything? <laughs> well, yes, it does. And what if you're not transgender? Does that mean you get to wear everything? Well, yes, it does. And you know what? It doesn't matter what you wear. Scent really doesn't have gender in the end. So wear what smells good on you. Fragrance is very individual. It depends on what smells good on your body. So wear what you like, wear what smells good on you, and totally ignore anything about gender. It doesn't really exist in a big way. If you feel like a gender, be it, be comfortable. And that is what we have to say about gender and scent. Just wear what you like, don't worry about gender. Thanks so much, and if you're enjoying these videos, do subscribe below. If you have questions or comments on this topic, I welcome them, I am happy to discuss this. And do have a fantastic day, walk in beauty.